marriage, an institution ordained by God, is one of the unique things that brings people of diverse interests, irrespective of religion, tribe, race, color, among other considerations, together to celebrate the union between two lover beds. It was indeed a joyous moment for the family of Sonny Makama Agassi, the Director General, National Geographic Information Service, and the Macmillan family from Canada, as their children, Henry, a Miguel chap from Gude, Jemke Development Area of Nasra State, traveled all the way to Canada to pick his heart rope, Kathleen, as they brought people together to share in their conjugal bliss at ERCC Gloryland Lafia. <laughs> the nuptial nod between the couple, the ERCC president, very Reverend Dave Denji, expressed concern at the level of marital challenges, which he said is gradually overwhelming the church, and drew the attention of believers that God instituted marriage for his purpose. As such, people must live according to the sanctity. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. As long as you both shall leave, if you will, you say yes, I will. Yes, I will. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. You are shy as if you are not an African. Look at her. Is that okay? To have and to hold. To have and to hold. I ask these people present to witness that before God. That before God. I. I, Caitlin May McMillan. Take you. Take you, Henry Agassi. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To love, to, cherish, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. Amen. 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 As a sign, as a sign that before God, that before God, I have taken you, I have taken my wife, I have taken you to be my wife. Thank you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign. As a sign. That before God. That before God. I have taken you to be my husband. I have taken you to be my husband. Thank you. And since before God and these people, they testify to this by exchange of vows, joining of hands, giving and receiving of rings. I pronounce them today, husband and wife.
after tying the nuptial knot by the ERCC president, senior pastor of the church, very Reverend Sunday Kuje, equally dwelt on understanding the purpose of marriage and urged the couple to be open to each other and make God the center of their lives in view of the fact that they can do nothing without the help of God. Experiencing divorce upon divorce all over the place. Our churches are filled with instances of divorce. Our society are filled with instances of divorce. Go to our own post today. The cases that fill our post today are cases of divorce. They are all over the place. Now, why are all this? Why are all this happening? Why are we experiencing this for God's sake? Today we are gathered and we are rejoicing. We are smiling. Everybody is happy because two people are coming together to be husband and wife. And they themselves are happy. They are rejoicing. They are smiling. They are laughing at each other. They are hugging each other. Because what? They are coming together. at ERC Glory Land Lafia, dignitaries were treated at the Art Conference Hotel Lafia. As dignitaries, including the state governor, Abdullah Hisuli, his predecessor, Senator Tanko Al-Makura, and former deputy governor, Salas Agara, distinguished personalities as well as traditional rulers, graced the event. <laughs>
In his remark, Governor Abdullah Hisuli described the marriage between Henry and Kathleen Agassi as historic and has demonstrated the fact that love knows no bound, wishing the couple the best life can offer. I actually got to know Sonia Agassi, your father, and father of both of you. When I was actually in the US and he was in Canada. At that time, none of us knew we were going to come back to Nigeria to live, and none of us actually knew that we were going to be at an event like this, where he would be managing the most sophisticated agency of the state, Nigeria, and I will be at the fears of the state. But today, God has done his work, you are here. The bride actually had COVID and she's doing a fantastic job in dancing. So, in fact, you were dancing better than you are doing in that dance. And you know, also, when you were dancing, I felt it, you know, I started feeling it. I said, let me join you in this dance because you were doing it so correct that you are doing it. You see, so with what is happening today, you are having that culture brought together exactly like Senator Anmokura has said. Today, the whole world has become a global village. You know everything about Canada, very soon you are knowing everything about Nigeria. This is love. This is what life is all about. And I pray for you. I wish you will continue to stay this way. For the former governor of the state, Senator Tanko Almakura, the union is that between Nigeria and Canada. And it has shown that the world can be healed because it has provided opportunity to share cultural and national values, a position shared by the groom's father, Sonny Makama Agassi. But this wedding ceremony to me is a very special one. It's not the one that brings two persons together. It means more than that. It is an occasion that has brought so many factors together, factors that are diametrically different, but now are fused into one. An occasion where two countries have to they become friends of one another, Nigeria and Canada, of course. Two cultures have come to merge into one, the Canadian culture and the Nigerian Mughini culture. And above all, certain intrinsic idiosyncrasies of the two different parties that will very soon be subsumed into one solidified, indivisible entity. I want to congratulate the bride and the bridegroom for a day like this. I am very excited and happy to be uh, the father of the uh, It's a very exciting and pleasing day for me as a person. I thank God for the opportunity to celebrate the union of my son and his beautiful wife. to describe how I feel. However, what I do wish them is to have an amazing family, to live together forever. Others who bear their minds include the general manager, Nasara Broadcasting Service, Mr. Aloko Flashman, Chairman Governing Council, College of Education, Akwanga, Dr. Ishaya Awotu, and Permanent Secretary, Civil Service Commission, Bulus Amoy, just as the couple took time to appreciate those who graced their occasion by thrilling the audience with their dance steps.
Kathleen, yes. Yes, thank you very much. It's been such an honor and I'm so happy to share this experience in Nigeria and visit the culture and see you again. Thank you. On ground to add glamour to the wedding of the two lover beds were Megilly cultural troops, even as the couple and their parents took to the dancing floor. <laughs>